Here's our common core strand for, for our most awesome teachers right here in our question. A real easy one. How do we subtract integers? Okay. So remember um, uh, when you're subtraction, here, here's some examples of subtraction right here. So Jason has 15 marbles. If he gives six away, how many marbles does he have? Well, that one's pretty easy. 15 minus six. And you can just use your fingers on that. I use my fingers all the time. I tell my students to, my high school students. 15 minus 6, and you just count down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. 15 minus 6 is 9, okay? I was using my fingers and counted six fingers, okay, including my thumb. Uh, Ellen has four red marbles and ten blue marbles. So how many more blue marbles does she have than red marbles? So again, that would be a subtraction problem. So 10 minus 4, 10 minus 4 is 6. Okay, now we're going to be subtracting um, uh, integers that are different signs, the same sign. So those two were examples of the same sign. So here, we're going to go ahead and um, uh, model and find each difference using counters. Now sometimes we have to use our zero this is when we add zero, we might be missing some when we're subtracting. We might be missing positives and negatives and we can't take them away yet. So what we do is we add in some zeros enough so we'll get our positives or negatives. Okay, sometimes we don't have to, like this one, we won't have to. Okay, so here I am. So model and find each differences uh, using counters. Okay, so we're going to be using these counters right here. Okay, so model negative 4 minus a minus 3. Okay, so here the first part says uh, start with negative 4 counters to represent negative 4. Okay, so there's negative 4 counters right there. And then this next part just says take away 3 of the negative counters. Well, I have four negative counters, so we're just going to wipe out three of them. So if I take away three of the negative counters, then what's left? We have one negative counter left. Okay, so find the difference. The difference is going to be this leftover negative 1 right here. Remember, that's negative right there. So when we take that away, then we're going to have negative 1. Okay, now here, let's try this one. 6 minus a minus 3. Okay, so here we're going to go ahead and start with 6 positive um, uh, counters to represent that 6 right there. Now, since we don't have any negative counters, we can't take away negative 3. So I'm going to add negative 3 counters, but to balance it out, i got to add 3 positive counters. So I'm going to add 3 zeros right here, okay? So there's 3 zeros right there. Okay, so now what we can do, we have negative 3 that we can take that away now. So there it is. Take away the negative 3 counters to re represent subtracting negative 3. And then what are we left with? Okay, well, we're left with all positive counters. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So what's left? 9 positive counters. So find the difference. 6 minus a minus 3 is going to be 9. It's just like 6 plus 3. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Okay, so negative 2 minus a minus 5. Okay, so we're going to start with negative 2 counters first. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So there's negative 2 counters. Now we got to subtract off negative 5 counters. I only have negative 2 counters. So I have to add three more negative counters, but to balance it out, I'm going to have to add zero. So because here, here, this plus zero, when I add zeros, it won't change the value, but I need to have negative five counters to take them away. So I'm going to add three zeros. We need to take away uh, five negative counters, so we're going to add three uh, zero pairs. Okay, so there's three zero pairs right there. Now we can take away, okay, now we're going to go ahead and take away negative five counters right there okay so let's go do that five negative counters that's going to be those bottom red counters right there and then what's left we're left with three positive counters so the difference you guys is going to be negative two minus a minus five is going to equal positive three right there just three okay you see that all right, so uh, if we did it on a number line right here we're going to model the difference five minus three on a number line okay so if we did just do 5 minus 3, we start right here at 5, and then we just, when we subtract 3, we just move 3 units to the left, and it ends us here at 2. Hopefully you know 5 minus 3 is 2. So 5 minus 3 is the same as the last lesson when we add numbers with different signs, 5 plus a negative 3. So 5 plus a negative 3 takes us to 2 right there. So notice we model the sum 5 plus negative 3 right there in the same way. Okay, so subtracting 3 is the same as adding its opposite, uh, plus negative 3. 
Okay, so we can use the fact uh, that subtracting a number is the same as adding its opposite to find a difference of two integers. So let's do that with this one here, okay? So find negative 1 minus 5 on this number line, okay? So let's uh, subtract the opposite. So rewrite the subtraction as an addition of the opposites, okay? So we have right here, we have negative 1 minus 5. So it's going to equal negative 1 plus a negative 5 goes right there. Negative 1 plus negative 5 goes in, in right there. All right, so now we're going to start at negative 1. Okay, uh, there it is right there, and then we're going to move five units to the left because it's negative five. So from the last lesson, negative one plus negative five, we're going to move five units to the left because of that negative sign right there. So there we go. And so where does it end? It takes us to negative six right there. So the difference is negative six. All right, let's do that with this one. I just moved it up, you guys, okay? So negative seven minus a minus three on a number line. Let's re uh, replace it with adding its opposite. So rewrite the subtraction as addition, uh, the as adding the opposite. So negative seven minus a minus three becomes negative seven plus three, okay? So adding the opposite, okay? So we're gonna start at negative seven. There it is right there. And move which way? We're gonna move three units to the to the right because it's positive okay so I'm gonna move three units to the right and there it is so the difference is it ends us at negative four okay so negative seven minus three negative three is the same as negative seven plus three which is going to be negative four right there okay all right so describe how to find five minus a negative eight on a number line and if you found the difference using counters would you get the same result and explain okay all right so rewrite negative five uh, minus a minus eight as addition of adding the opposite five plus a positive eight which we know is 13 so if we did that on a number line we'd start at five and then move um, uh, eight units to the right because it's plus eight plus a positive eight and that takes us up to 13 right there okay and if we did it using counters we first start with five positive counters and add eight zero pairs because if I'm taking away negative eight I need to have uh, eight negative counters right there so here's our five positive counters for this five right here and before we can subtract negative eight I need to have the negative eight counters so I added eight zeros right here so I can take away these negative eight counters and when we do that we're going to be left with those 13 positive counters sitting on top right there okay all right easy enough okay so the temperature on Monday was negative five degrees Celsius by Tuesday the temperature rose to negative two degrees Celsius Negatives kind of work backwards, you guys. So when on the number line, especially. So find the change in temperature. Okay, so the final temperature minus Monday's temperature is going to equal the change in temperature. Okay, so the final temperature is that Tuesday's temperature. So that's going to be negative two, and then Monday's temperature was negative five. So negative two minus a minus five is going to equal our change. So negative two minus a minus five, if we add the opposite, is negative two plus five, which is three. Okay. So if you think of a number line, you're right here, if this is zero, go to negative two, which is over here, and then go plus five in the positive direction. That'll take us up to three right there. Negative two plus five equals three. So the temperature increased by three degrees. And it's a positive because it increased. Okay. So the temperature on Monday, oh, that's the same thing, same problem. So here we go. So um uh, why does it make sense that changing in temperature is a positive number? All right, well, that's because uh, the sign of the answer tells us that the temperature increased. And so the temperature rose or increased from negative 5 degrees to negative 2 degrees. That's still pretty cold, though. Okay, so find the difference of each one of these, you guys. Okay, so negative 7 minus a minus 2 is the same as negative 7 plus uh, uh, negative 2. Okay, negative 7 plus negative 2 is going to get us. Now we're just adding numbers that have the same sign, so we add these numbers and keep the sign. So it's going to be negative 9 right there. Remember that from the last lesson? Okay, this one's going to be negative 1 plus a positive 3. Okay, negative 1 plus a positive 3. Okay, when they're different signs, we subtract their absolute values. So the absolute value of this is 1. The absolute value of this is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. But, and we keep the sign of this guy because it's positive. So this one's 2. Okay, okay, 3 minus 5 is the same as 3 plus negative 5. Okay, and if we subtracted the absolute values, the absolute value of 3 is 3. 
the absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5, 5 minus 3 is 2, but we keep that sign because we keep the one that has the bigger absolute value difference, so the absolute value, so in other words, it's going to be negative 2 right there, all right? Negative 8 minus a minus 4 is negative 8 plus 4. Subtract those, keep the sign of the bigger one, so negative 4 right there. All right, you guys, I hope that lesson makes sense, and take care.